Maximize your skills with rudimental drumming at schoolofsuperdrumming.com. The link is in the description. With the paradiddle grid, there's a total of four patterns. Starting out with the first phase, it's gonna have a total of four different measures. And then each of those measures are gonna fit each of the patterns. And even though the sticking is a paradiddle, no matter what, you're gonna keep the same sticking of a paradiddle. So for pattern number one on measure number one, the accent falls on the first partial. So essentially you're playing a normal paradiddle. For measure number two, this is where things change. All of the accents are going to fall on the second partial, which is going to be on the E. For pattern number three on measure number three, the accent is going to fall on a third partial. And this is where it gets a little tricky because you're going to be playing an accent and a tap on the same hand. So you're going to have to have a little bit of stick control to pull off the accents and taps cleanly. And then for pattern number four on measure number four, the accents all fall on the last partial. Also tricky because now you're playing upstrokes. So after you play the tap off of the right hand, for example, you're going to have to play an accent off the right hand and vice versa with the left hand. So once again, stick control is going to be really important to have in order to pull this off cleanly. Going into the second phase of this where you play each of the patterns two times and each of the patterns fall on each of the different measures so starting out with measure number five the accent falls on the first partial and then measure number six the accent falls on the second partial measure number seven it falls on the third partial once again watch out for that uh accent followed by a tap and then you're going to be playing upstrokes on measure number eight so stick control is going to be key to get through this For the third phase of this, you're going to be playing each of the patterns one time and they're all going to fit into one measure. So essentially, you're going to be playing this four times in a row. Count number one, the accent falls on the first partial. Count number two, the accent falls on the second partial. Count number three, third partial. Count number four, fourth partial. So once again, you're just repeating each of the patterns one time. And then for all four of these measures, you're going to repeat it. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you want full access to over 500 videos of stick tricks, rudiments, and exercises, sign up today at schoolofsuperdrumming.com. The link is in the description.